Hello friends, today we start with the first topic of the subject geography. The name of the topic is geological time scale. What is this geological time scale? This geological time scale gives us the evolution, evolutionary history of earth with respect to the biological events and the geographical events. Why is this geological time scale important? First, we need to understand that any phenomena which has occurred on earth with respect to geography, it has occurred over thousands and millions of years. So it is not possible for us to exactly designate an event from so and so date to so and so date. So what have we done? We have totally gone for giving a geological time scale to these events. For example, you might be knowing the term Jurassic. Yes, immediately you recollect dinosaurs. So Jurassic is equivalent to dinosaurs. That was the age when dinosaurs they flourished over the earth. So we'll have to study this geological time scale. The history of earth right from 4.2 billion years. It has been divided into eons, which are further divided into eras, which are further divided into periods, which are further divided into epochs. So if you look at the eons, we have two eons, Phanerozoic and Proterozoic. Phanerozoic eon, it started from 545 million years before present till this day. Before that, before 545 million years before present, it was Proterozoic Eon, which can be divided into Precambrian and Hadean. The dividing line being 2500 million years before present. So, Eons 2, Phanerozoic from 545 million years before present till this date and Proterozoic before that. So, we will be more concerned with Phanerozoic because most of the events concerned to the living forms and the formation of earth have occurred or the formation of landforms and earth have occurred in the Phanerozoic Eon. This Phanerozoic Eon can further be divided into three eras. From 545 million years before present to 245 million years before present, it is Paleozoic. 545 million years before present to 245 million years before present, it is Paleozoic. From 245 million years before present to 65 million years before present, it is Mesozoic. And from 65 million years before present up to this date, we are in Cenozoic. So let's revise. Eons Phanerozoic and Proterozoic. Phanerozoic Eon is again subdivided into three eras, Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic. Yes. Now, the first one is Paleozoic. It starts from 545 million years before present to 245 million years before present. That's a rough estimate. Paleozoic is further divided into six periods. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous and Permian. Let's revise again. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous and Permian. So Paleozoic is divided into six periods. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. What are the typical events which occurred during Paleozoic? During Paleozoic, the Pangaea broke up. During Paleozoic, we have fishes, amphibians, which flourish on earth. During the Devonian period, there were lots of fishes. It is known as the age of the fishes. The Permian period is known as the age of the amphibians. So by the end of Paleozoic, we have amphibians. Fine. After that, after this Paleozoic era, we have Mesozoic from 245 million years before present till 65 million years before present. This Mesozoic again is divided into three periods. Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous. 
Triassic is the earliest one and Cretaceous is the latest one. So Mesozoic is divided into Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. The major event of Mesozoic occurred during the Jurassic period where we had large animals over the earth's surface known as dinosaurs. Yes, after that, the later part of Mesozoic saw the extinction of these dinosaurs. So, Mesozoic is the middle one from 245 to 65. After Mesozoic, we have the latest era known as Cenozoic. This Cenozoic is divided into two periods, Tertiary, Quaternary. Tertiary from 65 million years before present to 2 million years before present and Quaternary from 2 million years before present till this date. Tertiary again is divided into five epochs. Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene and Pliocene. Let's go with it again. Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene and Pliocene. The major event during tertiary was the diversification of humans. It is known as the age of the mammals and humans they diversified during these periods. Later on, after tertiary you have the quaternary period. It starts from 2 million years before present till this date. This quaternary period is again divided into two epochs. Pleistocene and Holocene. You need to know that Pleistocene is the last ice age on earth. It will last it from 2 million years before present till 10,000 years before present. And today we are breathing in Holocene which started from just 10,000 years before present. It's only 10,000 years before present that the Holocene period has started. It is a warm phase. During the Pleistocene, it was an ice age. Holocene is a warm phase. So my dear friends, when we later study geography, we will be referring to these periods. For example, in the later lectures, I might tell you that the Himalayas started uplifting from the Cretaceous period because no one knows the exact date when the Himalayas started uplifting. So at that point of time, you should easily recollect that, okay, Cretaceous was in Mesozoic. It was somewhere around 65 to 75 million years before present. So that is the importance of these geological time scales. Now the question is, how are we going to recollect and revise this time scale? Fine. Let us revise it once again. And I'll give you certain keys to remember the names. First, two eons, Phanerozoic, Protozoic. Dividing line is 545 billion years before present. We'll be more concerned with Phanerozoic. In Phanerozoic, you have three eras. The past one, that is the earliest one, is Paleozoic. So past Paleozoic. The middle one is Mesozoic. Middle Mesozoic. So but obvious, the remaining, that is the latest one, is Cenozoic. So Paleozoic, the past, Mesozoic and Cenozoic. This Paleozoic is divided into six periods. I'll just give you the keyword to remember and recollect these periods. It is cos DCP. Just write down this word cos DCP. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Fine. So cos DCP. You need to just mug up this word cos DCP. You will recollect. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Mesozoic, the major event was dinosaurs, Jurassic. So just recollect it as TJC, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous. The middle one is Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous. Later on, you have Cenozoic, which is divided into tertiary and quaternary periods. Tertiary period having five epochs, 
P-E-O-M-P. Paleocene, Eocene, Oligocene, Miocene and Pliocene. The five epochs P-E-O-M-P. Quaternary is very simple. Two million years before present is started. We have the last ice age that is the Pleistocene. Okay, Pleistocene. So Pleistocene last ice age and today we are breathing in Holocene. Today we are breathing in Holocene. Fine. So what are the keywords we need to remember or write down in your notes for revision? Cos DCP, TJC, PUMP, Pleistocene and Holocene. So you just need to mug up these three key words. Cos DCP, TJC, PEOMP. Fine, my dear friends. For reference, you will have to refer to the notes provided to you along with this lecture. And below that, you will have multiple choice questions to test your understanding and your knowledge about this topic. Fine, all the best. Thank you. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from the Unique Academy. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned.